Let's do this. It was a cold, dark night. A most appropriate night for collecting a deck. The house was quiet. Not a mouse, not a whisper. Nothing could be heard. But for Darian's pen, slowly scribbling away in the studio. A most soft, soothing sound of pen against paper. Above the desk, white smoke rose from a hot cup of tea and tinted the air with a minty smell. From the fireplace shone a dim, warm light on Darian's face. On Darian's troubled face. Although it was dark, there wasn't a safer, more relaxing place than his studio. But the windows kept reminding him of the cold, dark shadows outside. Every now and then, his eyes would wander, and he would stare out into the fall. And always, he would take a sip of tea, as if warming his body would warm his thoughts. not a night to wander outside, not for Darian. It was a night to stay safely at home with a pen for a sword and a paper for a shield. Not that he felt any safer at home either. Not that he wasn't startled by the faintest sound. A flicker of the candle, a twitch of the shadow. His heart would raise out of his chest. Darian was scribbling away in his studio, deep in his thoughts, when he felt a cold draft on his fingers. He went up his arms and made him shiver. The candle went out with a smoky sigh. His mind clouded, his heart raising. He reached out for the teacup and took a sip. But it was cold. He stared at the smoke coming from the teacup, yet his gripping hands felt no warmth. He turned to the fireplace. Oh, it burned. But no light was cast. His mind clouded, his heart raising, his, his eyes scanned the room in desperate haze and quickly found a dark figure on the corner, wrapped in shadows, but not hiding. The figure produced from its coat an old paper with careful handwriting and Darian's crimson signature at the bottom of the page. The time has come. Y yes, I, I, I know. Darian fumbled with his words. Uh, I, I, I was writing and, and I was hoping that the time is now. Darian looked around the room. He, he wished it was a dream. But he recognized his crimson signature at the bottom of the page of the hands of the shadow. He knew it was not a dream. But my, my wife, if I could, the time is now. Darren froze. His heart stopped. His fear shattered. The pen rolled from his hand and from his mouth came a sigh of relief. Yes, I know. He stood up, straightened his shirt, looked deep into the shadow and said, I'm ready. But the shadows stood motionless. They looked at each other for a second as if frozen in time. And then, knock, knock. Are you coming soon to bed? No, 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 that Darian's face showed panic, but he dared not say a word. No, no, no. He tried, but not a word would come out of his mouth. He looked at the shadow. He was motionless. They looked at each other for a second, as if frozen in time. Honey, are you all right? 
Darius' face showed panic, despair. He took the pen again, if not, if not speaking, perhaps writing, but what to write? He looked around the room searching for ideas, but before he could think, before he could react, the door opened. Honey, what, what have you done? And then there were three. The shadow looked at Darian. Darian looked at his innocent love. And she stared at it. Oh no, no, this was not supposed to happen. She was not to be involved. But alas, she was, for she recognized Darian's crimson signature at the bottom of the page of the hands of the shadow. No, you didn't. Tell me you didn't. Darian's head hung in shame. He couldn't say a word, but there was nothing left to say anyway. What's done is done, and the time has come. No, no, there, there must be something we can do. There is always something, said the shadow, slowly turning itself towards her. And with its other hand, it produced another piece of paper, much like the first one, with careful handwriting, but an empty space at the bottom for a signature. Darian's face was stricken with horror. His eyes ran back and forth between the two, horrified at the implicit suggestion that was made. But nobody was paying attention to him. Business was now between her and it. The shadow offered a crimson pen. She understood the gravity of the situation and the implications of the offer that was made. An offer no sane man would even consider. Oh, but her eyes showed that she was not saying no. She was madly in love. She took the pen. No, 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 Darren clutch his own pen. No, no, this was not supposed to happen. She was not to be involved. The words echoed in his head. But alas, she was, for there is no undoing. The crimson signature at the bottom of the page of the hands of the shadow. But wait. Wait, her mind might be set, but the page is not yet signed. The pen is in her hand, but the ink has yet to flow. She can be stopped. She must be stopped. Oh, but the shadow, the shadow will not allow an intervention. No time for reasons, no time for warnings. This must be quick. He clutched his pen. He jumped over the desk. He ran towards her, grabbed her by the hand, but it was made of stone. He couldn't move it, he tried to push her away, but he, she as well, could not be moved. In one last act of despair, she grabbed her by the hair, lifted his arm and put the pen in through her right eye, in deep through her hands and legs, thrashed violently around and she pushed it deeper until they became but soft twitches. He looked at the shadow and smiled. Now, now you can never have her. Do what you must, I will pay for my own debt. The shadow spoke with a pleased voice. My job here is done. And in an instant, everything was as it was before. The house was quiet, not a mouse, not a whisper, nothing could be heard. Everything was as before, but for Darius' wife's twitching body on the ground.